Today's lesson is how to write a summary using jot dots. So we've written a lot of summaries actually in third grade. Um, a lot of times you use summaries when you worked on your reading log at home and you would read and then on your log you would write a short summary that retold basically what you read about. Well, we're gonna try writing summaries today uh, using uh, a system with, it's called Jot Dots and I think you'll enjoy it. So summaries are like a shortened version of a story or informational text. They share the most important ideas by telling the main idea and details of the text. And the most important thing about a summary is that they help us comprehend or understand what we read. So today's lesson, we're gonna write a one paragraph summary using something called Jot Dots. Jot Dots is a helpful tool to plan your summary. You remember when we would work on our essays throughout third grade, we always took time after we read the text and we used a graphic organizer to make our plan so we could organize our ideas. Well, Jot Dots is like a graphic organizer that helps us make our plan before we write. Jot Dots help us plan our summary by helping us organize our ideas. And this is how Jot Dots works. So write a summary using jot dots. The first thing you do is called name it, verb it, big picture. That makes no sense right now, but it will in a minute. We're going to do, we're going to add these three things up, name it, verb it, big picture, so we can write our topic sentence. And it says that in number two, it says add these together to write your topic sentence. The third thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write five jot dots. And I'm gonna teach you all about how to do that. And jot dots are just uh, things that you remember about the story. And you're gonna write five of those and you're gonna write them in five words or less. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Then you're gonna turn these jot dots into detailed sentences that support the main idea and sequence the story. You know, first, then, next, last. And then you're going to close your paragraph with a concluding sentence that restates the main idea. Sounds like writing a good paragraph, right? All right, let's get started. So I, I thought we would use a story that we all know, and that's Winn-Dixie, right? So if I name it, I tell the title of the story because of Winn-Dixie. Now, verb it, instead of us saying Winn-Dixie is about, it's kind of a boring way to start out. We verb it, so we decide what did this story do? Did it tell, did it show, did it describe, explain? Out of all of these words that are listed right here, I thought teaches was the best thing, because to me, the story because of Winn-Dixie does teach a lesson. And the big picture is just the theme or the lesson of the story. You know, you ask yourself, what is the lesson of this story? What's it teaching me? And everybody can have their own idea of what the big lesson is and what the big theme is. The big idea is. All right, so name it, because of Winn-Dixie. Verb it, I chose teaches. The big idea, for me, the big idea of this story is, is how friendship can help you face challenges with courage. So I'm gonna add name it, verb it, big idea, and I'm gonna come up with my topic sentence. Because of Winn-Dixie, that's name it, verb it, teaches, and now I'm gonna share the big idea. That friendship can help us face challenges with courage. Topic sentence, because of Winn-Dixie teaches us that friendship can help us face challenges with courage. Now, this is how you do the five jot dots. Jot dots are notes of five words or less about the sequence of the events of the story. What happened first, next, then, last, right? So, um, and then I, these will help me give the details of the summary. So I chose in the beginning, if you remember, Opal and, and her father, the preacher, had moved to Watley and she was lonely. So I did five words or less, ready? Opal was lonely in Watley, okay? Then a new friend helped her. A new friend helped her. 
Next one, Win Dixie gave her strength. Do you remember that? When she found Win Dixie and brought Win Dixie into her life, she started to feel strong. Win Dixie gave her strength. And I then I thought as they lived together and worked together, together they made things better. So ready? Together they made things better. And the last one, I thought at the end of the story, Opal's life filled with happiness. So it started out lonely, but at the end, she had happiness in her heart. So I wrote Opal's life filled with happiness. So now I'm going to take these five jot dots and I'm going to turn them into sentences. Okay. So I'm going to start with my topic sentence, which we built. Then I'm going to add my jot dots that we just looked at, and I'm going to turn them into a sentence. I'm going to expand them a little bit, and then I'm going to write my concluding sentence, and we're going to have our summary. So here we go. Here's my example. I start with the topic sentence. Because a Win dixie teaches us that friendship can help you face challenges with courage. Topic sentence. Now I'm going to refer to my five um, jot dots. Do you remember my first one? Opal was lonely in Watley. Now I'm going to expand that a little bit, put it into a sentence, and I'm going to use a sequence word. Ready? First, Opal was lonely when she moved to Watley. First, Opal was lonely when she moved to Watley. So I took those five little words and I expanded them into a full sentence. The next jot dot was a new friend helped her. So I'm going to use a sequence word then. She unexpectedly met a new friend in the produce aisle at the store who helped her. Okay. The next one was when Dixie gave her strength. So I'm going to uh, grow that a little bit here. I'm going to use my sequence word next. Next, her new friend, a dog named Win Dixie, gave her strength to face the challenges of being new in her town. So you can see where I went way beyond five words and I grew it into a bigger sentence. That supports the main idea. Together, they made things better by meeting new people to enjoy life with. Finally, remember the last thing I wrote? My last jot dot was Opal's life was filled with happiness. So finally, Opal was no, Opal was no longer filled with loneliness because her heart was full of happiness and joy with her newfound friends. The last thing I would need to do here is I would need to write my topic sentence, which is restating that main idea. Can anybody think about that? Well, my topic sentence was because when Dixie teaches us that friendship can help you face challenges in your life with courage. Um, so I can say in conclusion, remember that? Friendship can help you um, be strong when you are faced with challenges. Finally, Opal was no longer filled with loneliness because her heart was full of happiness and joy with her newfound friends. In conclusion, friendship can help you be strong when you are faced with challenges. There's a summary right there. So now you can use jot dots to write a summary about a book that you enjoy. Start with name it, add verb it, big picture. You add them together. That's your topic sentence. Then you're going to write five jot dots with five words or less. Then you're going to turn those into detailed sentences that will support your main idea and sequence the story. And then you'll write your concluding sentence and you will have a wonderful summary. I can't wait to read your, read your summaries. Have fun. Bye.